Hello, and welcome back to another one of my uh, video series that I will be calling um, Xmas Lemmings 2021 Level Solving Commentary. So, um, I'm KYN, and I'll be the host of this uh, Level Solving Commentary video series. So yes, I'm back to do another one of these video series, and in case you're not aware of what they are, uh, it's essentially a video series where I show out the solutions to these uh, to the levels of the pack, and um, I essentially explain the thought processes that I had while I was solving these levels. Um, so um, there's pretty much some uh, reasons why I would do su such a series. Uh, the most prominent being that uh, I like the pack a lot, and so um, I feel the need to show the solutions. But uh, in this case, though, um, I was actually one of the pre-testers of this pack uh, before Amani released it. And yes, I just mentioned uh, Amani, and he is the pack author. So he's the person who made this pack. And um, he uh, mentioned on Discord that he was looking for another pre-tester. And I pretty much volunteered and agreed to be uh, a pre-tester. So um, there's that. Uh, though I'm not exactly certain that it was probably a good idea, since uh, I was on a, a, on a huge time cruncher at the time, because... Uh, I wanted to finish the LP uh, Stratos Lemmings uh, War Tour for new formats. And um, my goal was essentially to complete it uh, before the end of 2021. And um, so I guess combined with how I volunteered to pre-test this pack, uh, Xmas Lemmings 2021 for Armani. Yeah, I unfortunately uh, was not able to solve uh, the whole pack before uh, the pack was released for on Christmas Day. Um, so I guess that was a, a mistake on my part, but, um, well, um, I guess this could also be, uh, seen as, like, a way for, um, Amani to, um, uh, actually, uh, no, 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 I'm probably wrong there. Um, I'm not exactly sure if, uh, Amani thinks that, uh, there should still be something where, um, where we think of something for, um, Basically, um, to return the favor for uh, that time when he PM'd me to um, like um, help him with some grammatical um, uh, proofreading, yeah, in his English, because there was one LDC where he was the winner, and he essentially picked the new rules for the next LDC contest. And there was one night where he PM'd me and asking me to like proofread the uh, um, um, his descriptions. Um and and and, and rule set. So um yeah. So perhaps uh there that's something that's still in the air where um he can uh, probably do something for me. But um what that is, I'm not exactly sure what yet though. So um yeah, perhaps uh he and I would think of something. Um, but in any case, yes, I've um I essentially just volunteered and agreed to like uh be a pre tester for this pack. There were essentially two other pre-testers. Uh, I believe they are Josh and Nish. But, um, yes. Um, uh, one of them is pretty, um, is pretty good at the game. And uh, I think um, I asked Amani if he was able to get through it. Um, yeah, for the most part, he was. Uh, there was only, like, three bonus levels that he didn't send replays for. But, um, yeah. Uh, but I think for the most part, yeah, he's definitely a, a much better uh, player than I am at the game. Although I am, I tend to be seen as one of the top solvers of this community as well. Yeah, I'm just, I just tend to see myself as like not as good as the um, uh, people who are considered uh, very good at solving in this game. Yeah, Josh being one of them. Um. So yes, uh, that's pretty much the uh, pretty much the main reason why I am doing this video series is just the fact that I was one of the pre-testers, and so I just wanted to show up the solutions to this. Uh, one wonderfully made pack that Amani did, and um, this is essentially Amani's second pack after his Lemmings Uncharted. So Lemmings Uncharted will essentially be Amani's flagship pack, I guess. Um, so pretty much for Xmas Lemmings twenty twenty one, Amani pretty much aimed for a lower difficulty, but uh, truth be told, it isn't that much lower. Yeah, in my opinion, because there's still a lot of very hard um, levels in this pack, especially uh, in the bonus rank, which we will get to. In a few days or so. Um, yeah, once I finish the uh, first two ranks here. So regarding that, yeah, there's essentially two main ranks and then plus a bonus rank. So first up is Retro, and then Avangarda, and then uh, Bonus. So uh, there's essentially um, 
12 levels in the retro rank, 13 in the urban garden rank, and 6 uh, levels in the bonus rank. So I think what I would do here is I will essentially do 6 levels per video, um, with the exception of the urban garden rank, where one of the videos will have 7 levels instead of 6. So basically 4 videos are 6 and then... Oh, uh, did I do that correctly? Uh, one, two, three, f yeah, four, four videos of six levels each, and then um, one level. I mean, one video with um, seven uh, levels. And is that even correct? Um, I feel like I got the math wrong here. Um, yeah, twelve, thirteen. Yeah, I think I'm getting the math wrong somewhere because um. Um, I could have sworn that there were 30 lows in here. Um, uh, as a matter of fact, let's go ahead and check that right now. 12, 13, and 6. No, 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 there's, I did read correctly. Yeah, there's 31 lows. Yeah, not 30. Although, yeah, you don't see the 13th low at the avant-garde rank. Yeah, because, uh, essentially it's just a self-solving low. Yeah, uh, credits low to be exact, but uh, you include that. Yeah, then it's essentially thirty-one lows in total. Um, but yes, in any case, the plan is still the same here. Yeah, it's still four uh, videos, uh, six lows each, and then one video will be seven lows. Yeah, which would include that self-solving low. Yeah, in the open garter rank. Um, and uh, pretty much as you can see here, yeah, this is a very nice uh, main menu um, screen. Yeah, I thought Armani did a really good job with the title logo and also the background too. Oh my goodness, this is just so pretty. And also, the menu select cards here. These were nicely done as well. Um, Armani is essentially an artist himself. Yeah, he's really, really good at, um, like, essentially drawing, I guess. Um, yeah, he does a lot of it, and he's just really good. So, um, nicely done there, Armani. And, um, yes, this is just very nice to look at. So, uh, yes, I think I described what I wanted to say here. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the level solving commentary uh, video series of Xmas Lemmings 2021. So first up, we have Retro 1. Last one out is a rotten egg. So, yes, this is a new um, low in its position because there originally was another low in this position. But I guess uh, the feedback that I gave to Imani was that... Uh, it's a bit difficult for the first level to pack, and you certainly don't want to uh, turn people off, or rather turn people away, um, yeah, with a harder than usual first level to pack. Yeah, you certainly don't want people to rage quit, quit that early. Um, let me see, let me go ahead and find the uh, replay for this. Uh, this one is which one? I'm pretty sure I fixed the replay file names. Alrighty, so we have a lock release raid here. So yes, we're essentially just gonna um, uh, have everyone collect down here, and then we're just gonna build with one of the last lemmings here. Yeah, just making sure that we don't make this bad height. So as a matter of fact, how close was it? So that's the last step there. Yeah, so there was about a pixel of leeway there. So I certainly could have just waited and, and did with the final lemming from the um, um, hatch. So yes, we built twice to get up here, and then we're going to go ahead and bash. And then build up twice here, and then make him a climber so that he goes up here. Bash through here, build once to get over here, and then build another time to get over the water gap. Okay, build to turn around, and then we're going to go ahead and dig. Okay, bash through the one way wall. Uh, build twice so that he turns around yeah, and also provides a way for the crowd to land on it later and not in the water. Yeah, note that it's not really necessary to uh, see off the entire gap, just as long as there's some um, thing for them for the crowd to land on. So, yeah, then I proceed to bash out the crowd when the lead lemming, or rather the worker, is far enough ahead to be able to reach uh, this gap on time before anyone arrives. Yeah, and then at that time, I also uh, bash through the staircase as well. So to release the crowd, and they can walk to the exit. And that's already it. So yes, quite a nice level to um, 
Star up the first pack, and certainly much easier than the one that was in this position before. Next up, Retro 2, White Christmas, 30 Lemmings, 25 to be saved. Uh, well, I didn't really need to read the uh, number of Lemmings and save requirement there. And yes, White Christmas, you probably know that as a pretty well-known um, Christmas tune. Yeah, that was, um, was it? Is the original by Bing Crosby? Um, I want to say that it is, but uh, I could be very wrong there because um, there might have been a version before um, Bing Crosby's, and I think if there was, then essentially this would just be a cover version by Bing Crosby. But essentially, uh, the point that I'm trying to get at here is that the version by Bing Crosby is pretty much the most well known uh, for White Christmas. Alrighty, first one we'll go ahead and mine. And then the next one that turns around will mine the other way so that uh, we contain the crowd. And then I essentially bomb the left facing miner to, to stop him and so that he doesn't keep on going and then everyone will fall into the water for those that turn back. Okay, and then I set up a climber. Okay, bash on through. Bash through here. Okay, and then I bomb a faller. Okay, and then I send picture here. Yeah, so I just end up a no climber at this time. Oh yes, uh oh I uh mine backwards here. Okay, uh mine the crowd out. Send up a no climber. Okay, uh bomb through there. Okay, mine and then before we start building. Oh yes, um I gave a money to feedback that originally there was like a I steam blower here, and essentially the solution I came up with was very, very precise. So there was essentially only one spot for you to be able to build and not uh, get torched by it, and still be able to uh, build to the exit. So yes, uh, I guess apparently I forgot that Amani fixed that up and removed it, so that the, my solution is not precise. He decided to let my solution slide there as acceptable, although uh, in the intended solution there is no precision needed at all. As I believe, if I read correctly, I think he said that they essentially would just go over the top here. But again, like I said, um, Amani has said that my solution is perfectly fine. Yeah, just uh, more precise and harder than it needs to be. Okay, then I send up a climber. Yeah, and then a bomb. And then that's already it. So yes, plenty of ways to go about this level. Um, yeah, just uh, find any solution that works. Yeah, pretty much an open end of one there. Yeah, and even one, one over the requirement. Okay, Retro 3, Snowy Wish. Yeah, this was the was the original retro one. But again, I gave Amani the feedback that this is actually uh, a bit difficult for the first uh, low of the uh, pack. And again, you certainly do not want to start a uh, pack like that because um, it does, in a way, increase the chances of a uh, of a rage quit from players. Yeah, and you certainly don't want players to give up very early in the pack, especially on the very first low. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and set up a climber. Uh, build twice, and then we're gonna make sure that he turns around. Yeah, and then we're gonna go ahead and bash here. Okay, yes, and then uh, in the original version, the pillar over here was very uh, thin, so that there was very, very low leeway in w when you should start bashing so that the climber would turn around. Because it is very important that the climber turns around. Otherwise, he's just gonna go over here and then climb into the ice steam blower truck. Yeah, and you need to save everyone. Yeah, so that's exactly what I uh, mentioned to Armani as um, pretty much the what makes the load uh, harder than it needs to be. And so I gave him the feedback to uh, make the pillar uh, thicker so that uh, there's more leeway in when to start bashing and a better chance to turn the climber around. And then finally, all this left to do is to make the climber build twice and making sure that he does not turn around because otherwise he's just going to climb into the ice deep blower drop there. Yeah, don't get me wrong, it is a very nice level. It's just, um, um, there is a certain trick here that makes, that increases the difficulty. Yeah, and something that maybe not many players, or ra rather some players will not, um, like, um, I realize. Okay, Retro 4, Claustrophobia. Okay, yes, I have two replays here. Um, essentially, um, 
the solution I had before wasn't a background, but rather here I gave Amani the feedback that uh, there was one particular area where it's not like very, very clear. Yeah, visually that the lemmings would step up rather than um, uh, turn around because the wall is too high. Yeah, and I'll point that out when we get to it. All right, so we go ahead and bash on through here. Okay, have one, let me turn around. Um, I'll bash with the second one. And the one that turns around with mine into this alcove here so that uh, it provides a turning point for the others while the basher is busy. Oh, yes. And then right behind the basher, I go ahead and mine here. This is essentially the uh, uh, containment bit for the crowd while the worker goes on ahead to prepare the route for the rest. Okay, and then we go ahead and bash here. So, yeah, uh, I believe the um, part I criticized as not being visually clear that Lemons will step up was around here. And so, yeah, that's, that essentially broke my replay there, and uh, therefore I needed to like, fix it up. So, then we bash on here. Okay. And then get as high as possible to mine. Oh, and then, yeah, I guess while this bash starts, yeah, I already bashed the crowd up. Yeah, then we get as high as possible, and then we mine so that we can reach over here. Yeah, cuts it pretty close, but uh, yeah, you need to be as high as possible. Yeah, I think anywhere else, yeah, uh, it would not work, and also you use a basher, it won't work either. Yeah, it'll just, it'll just fall into the ice steam blower trap. Okay, and then finally, all this left to do is to bash to the extent that's it. So we finished with a minor left over here. Yeah, but it's perfectly fine. Yeah, no back row here. Okay, Retro 5, so close yet so far. Uh, I feel like that that's a title that's already been used for a low in another low pack, but uh, what that is, I can't quite remember right now. Okay, so five of everything skill set here. Um, essentially, I think this low is just a uh, solve it in any way you can. So yes, uh, we start on the right side, and then the X is on the other side. Yeah, separated by some steel blocks here with some um, gaps. Okay, so I have one. Let me turn around to build. So that he can see off the gap, and then another one mines. Yes, and I also uh, released the blocker as well. Um, want to make sure that I do anything else here? Yep. Yeah. Got a lot of the uh, presents that uh, Amani put in the terrain here, inside the terrain, and also the Christmas tree and some of the brick tiles set in here. Yeah, and really love the streamer here. The streamers, yeah, at the top. Oh, yes. And here I dig with a lemming that's right on top of the miner so that the miner gets cancelled. I believe, was he facing to the right? I mean to the left? No, I don't think he was. So instead, I did some digger cancelling here. Yeah, I cancelled the digger with digger and then uh, with one that's facing to the left and then I start mining. Okay, and I start bashing. I believe by here I should start pulling back to crowd with a blocker soon. Yep, not quite. Yeah, there we go. Yep, so fill over the gap. Yep, and then bash on through. Yep, build up. Then yep, we're gonna go ahead and block here. Yep, release the blocker with a miner. And then I bash the cancel the miner. Yep, and then build uh, to the right so that we reach the wall here. Then we go ahead and set up a climber. I'm gonna go ahead and dig. And then build to stop him. And then finally mine the crowd up. Okay, and that's already it. So this is essentially a lose off of one. I mean lose off of one. Sorry, that's not correct. Uh a save off of one, I should say. Yeah, and then I just go ahead and bomb the blocker. Although here you can also use the nuke too. Yeah, it serves the same purpose. Just um it's just simply saves up that bomber that I used. Alrighty, and the final level for this video, uh, Retro 6, Christmas Crossing. This, I feel, is another level with a title that's already been used. I think it was in Sublims, but I'm not sure if I'm remembering the title correctly. Yeah, from that pack. Okay, yes, um, I had two replays here. Essentially, this is another level I gave feedback to Imani where um, there was a drop where it isn't quite clear that uh, it would be safe rather than a splatfall. So, um, it's, it's essentially just reducing the precision there and making it clearer that, this, that the fall is safe. Okay, so, the lemming that goes up to the right will be a climber, and then another one will go out to the left, 
Yeah, he gets a floater. And then we're gonna go ahead and bash here so that no one else can follow the one to the left. Yeah, because this is a deadly fall. And we want to prevent that. And uh, yes, we picked up the miner here. And now we're gonna get another miner as well here. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and um, pretty much uh, sync these miners up. Yeah, one will go to the right and then another one will go to the left here. We're essentially trying to sync these up so that uh, we can uh, cover, seal off this entire gap from both sides with a builder each. Yeah, and they were pretty much meet around the middle, like that. That's why, hence the title, Christmas Crossing. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out here. And, um, let's see, I... Oh yeah, I start uh, releasing the crowd with a digger. Yeah, some will spill out to left, uh, some others will spill out to the right. Yeah, this is the reason why we need a lemming over the other side, on each side. Okay, so the floor will go ahead and bash on through here. To the left, while the other worker over here will uh, turn back around and bash to the right, and then that's already it. So quite a nice level here. Yeah, this was a pretty fun one, and, and especially fun seeing the solution come together as well, especially when it all works out. Alrighty, so those were the first six levels of the retro rank. So next time we will continue with the next six levels of the retro rank. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all for the next one.